Players' formations, plays, we've used those terms throughout the course of the season, but to me, now going into week 13 for the Seahawks, this was, this was the, the most representative, the most emblematic, the very best play of the season that focuses on those core principles in our chalk talk. Players' formations, plays. Seahawks go into halftime after totally dominating the Carolina Panthers. They know they get the ball to start the second half. And much like Daryl Bevel and his offensive staff put together their script of the first 15 plays, Going into a game, they spend those 10 minutes at halftime, and sometimes it can be frantic, and it goes quickly, starting to put together their plays for the second half. And when he sits down with Tom Cable, and he sits with Pete, and they start to have that conversation of how do we want to come out and attack Carolina after the first 30 minutes? Well, they say, let's, let's get Tyler Lockett involved. Let's find a way to get number 16 involved in that fly sweep action. We've had so much success running the, the zone, and, and uh, Rawls got loose a couple times, beautiful cutback, ran right at them. Let's come out and run. Let's, let's run that fly sweep on the very first play if we've got favorable field position, as long as you're not backed up, and they do. So they, they get the, uh, the kick and to begin the second half. This is first to 10 at their own 25-yard line, and they come out in their 13 personnel, one back, three tight ends, and uh, and Carolina just stays in their base, and that's not coincidence. They have pretty good feel of what they're going to get Carolina in. They don't match with their big heavy package, their goal line package. Instead, they stay in their base personnel. So players' formations plays. Players, uh, let's get Tyler Lockett on a kick or punt return on that fly sweep action. Formation, let's get into our 13 personnel, our heavy alignment, and let's give that approach, and we're going to just slam it and run that big heavy zone run right at them, and then over Ultimately, well, let's run a play to get 16 loose. Let's get him in the alley. Let's get him in the crease like he does on those punt and kick returns where he can hit it and really go. So they come out, players' formations, plays, and a couple little other kind of nuances and I think uh, details that make this thing go is the timing. This timing could not be any better, and it's important because you want to allow number 16 to hit this play running. You don't want him to hesitate. You don't want him to wait. You don't want that end to have any sense of what's coming his way by seeing that motion. So you get in that big heavy package, they're blinded, 16 comes across, and you can't time that snap out any better, man. He is hitting this thing on the run. So much so that Charles Johnson, bad hamstring at all, it's pretty fun to watch, is just standing in space, has no idea that Tyler Lockett just blew right by him. Pretty easy action for the offensive line here. They're just zone, zone blocking back, so really eliminating just about every everybody here uh, outside of this play and you're left with a couple key figures here. Uh, give Nick Vanette a ton of credit. He comes up, does his job, stays square. Brandon Williams, you get a star, man. You had to seal off Thomas Davis. That is a plus play for you, my friend. And he did it by not panicking. He did it by knowing and allowing, kind of setting up that block like a runner sets up blocks. Well, that tight end in space against a good Sam linebacker has got to set it up. He can't run too flat. He stays nice and square. He hunts him up, and he can't create a better chasm in alley for Tyler Lockett to plant that foot in the ground and hit it. And now it's about the angle of a backup middle linebacker. It's about a, a safe safety and uh, Tyler Lockett taking those two to the house. It's one, it's one plant and it's go. A couple little other things, uh, Mr. Lockett uh, recorded at some 21 miles an hour. Pete Carroll said his, his running 40 was about a four flat or pretty darn close to it. And uh, that safety who has <laughs> pursuit all the way back across the field, well, he couldn't even get to Mr. Lockett. So players formations plays. Get Tyler in a punt return, kick return. Put him in alignment where you can mask it and hide some of that. Get in a formation where you've got your big package against their base package and then ultimately time out that play execute that play perfectly. The timing couldn't have been better. And these two blocks, they make this thing go. Just give you guys a chance. You know, that's what receivers always say. Just give me a chance to make a play for you. It's not always in the passing game. It can be on that fly sweep action. And this is a dangerous, dangerous component to add to this offense.